So I wanted to give you a little story time type video today. I'm pretty sure this was a form of sleep paralysis, but it was genuinely one of the scariest moments I've had sleeping. <laughs> I know that sounds mad, but yes, one of the scariest moments I've had when I was sleeping. So this one morning I woke up, but I couldn't move and my eyes weren't open. Now in regular sleep paralysis stories, you hear people wake up and they can see, they can move their eyes, they just can't move their body. But I couldn't see or move my body. And as hard as I tried, I couldn't move my body. I think it was one or two weeks beforehand, I watched this movie, it's called Deliver Us From Evil. And it's about this guy who gets possessed and they did an exorcism. And I, for some reason, felt like he was beside me. I put a picture of him on screen now. So now you can see why I was a bit scared in the moment. Now I'm not usually one to panic or stress, but I started, my heart started beating really fast. And I started hearing doof, 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 doof beside me like someone was walking up the stairs. But it was right beside me. I genuinely thought it was gonna die. I was like, what the fuck? I was sweating, my heart was beating. And then I fell back to sleep and woke back up. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I fell back asleep for like two minutes and just woke back up. Or I just kind of became conscious again and just woke back up. But it was genuinely so scary and this is not the only time this has happened to me one time i was staying in a different house and i the same thing happened to me i woke up i couldn't move but i couldn't see as well i knew what was gonna happen i was expecting the same thing realistically so i just said to myself over and over again just imagine there's a dog i said that i'm pretty sure i literally said that to myself i literally spoke out loud well as far as i know i did I literally said, just imagine it's a dog, just imagine it's a dog. And it actually helped. It just, it calmed me and I stayed calm in the situation because I knew what was going to happen. See, the first time this happened to me, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what to expect. So my heart was beating in the first situation. But the second situation, when I woke up, I was aware and I was like, oh, fuck this again. As I said, I said, just imagine it's a nice dog or something beside me. I said something along the lines of that. And the reason I actually said that is because I do like dogs. So I thought that was the best thing to calm me in the situation. It's so funny though, what can really happen in your body when you're sleeping. It's scary, but amazing at the same time. I felt like I wanted to share this with you because I want to know if you had similar situations and I want to know if you can tell me what this actually is. Now, it's definitely a form of sleep paralysis. I did a bit of research on it. Now, this happened to me like a year ago. This happened to me one and a half to two years ago. I did a bit of research on this a while ago, and they said it was sleep paralysis, but I couldn't find anyone with the exact same experience as me. Because as I said, everyone who gets sleep paralysis, they're, aw like, they're awake, they can see things, but they can't move. But I couldn't open my eyes at all. Like, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't open my eyes. No matter how hard I tried to move, I just couldn't move. It was horrible. It was like I was trapped. It's like someone was holding me down. I had this thought as well. I was like, maybe someone is coming up the stairs and that just kind of morphed into my sleep and morphed into my dream. Maybe that happens like when you're sleeping and you hear a noise downstairs and it kind of plays a part in your dream as well. But that wasn't the situation because I'm pretty sure everyone was, everyone was asleep. Like, everyone was asleep, you know. I just find it really weird. I still don't understand to this day what the banging was. Now maybe it was something downstairs because who knows, but as far as I know, there wasn't anything banging. There wasn't anything making noise. There wasn't anyone coming up the stairs or going down the stairs. But yeah, I guess that's my little story time of the scariest thing that happened to me while I was sleeping. If you want to leave yours, if you want to leave your stories down in the comment section, I'll definitely read them. I'll react to them. I'll reply to them. And yeah, I guess leave your feedback if you enjoyed as well. Thank you for listening to my story. <laughs>